Okay, so after AFR and our spark table, we have to adjust fueling as well. Not only is the AFR table responsible for the fuel calculations, but the VE table is the most important thing here. Because the ECU wouldn't know what to inject or how much to inject. And this is why we are creating a base map here as well. In theory, yes, this is not needed, but to get the car started and running, it is good or good practice to have a base map where this is somewhat in a ballpark to get your tune started. Obviously, again, this map is not for full throttle runs or anything. It is just to get the car started and maybe if it runs good, drive it to your tuner that way. But uh, I would not really recommend it because it can still can be, depending on your engine, that you may run very lean or very, very rich, which can also be a problem um, for your engine. And uh, yeah, so keep that in mind and wait until tuning to get full get on the gas fully again if you need any tuning help or tuning your car in general we have a link in the description for our instagram and you can hit us up there if you need tuning services if you need help with your project or whatever so uh, that you know how to go ahead with your own car all right, the next thing on our list is the VE table or fuel tuning. Obviously, the fuel tuning is going to be done when driving the car and when tuning the car, but we have to set up a base VE map um, first to get the car running and uh, maybe to get the values in the ballpark that we are expecting. Let's uh, say it that way. Um, this is why we are going to open the EVE table. Obviously you should have uh, watched and done everything from the previous videos so that we can start with this. So first of all, I'm going to explain what the VE is or what this is basically determining the efficiency of the engine. Um, it's not really programming the efficiency of the engine, obviously, and then you would just uh, use 100% everywhere. <laughs> or the values in those cells are determined by the engine's efficiency at that point. So at that RPM and at the given fuel load or the given KPA rating. Most of the engines are about 90 to 95% efficient on an NA basis on uh, most of the RPM between 5,000 and 6,500. So right around here. And then these values are somewhere between 85 and 95. And this means the engine is to 85 or 95% efficient. Obviously, this does not mean that the engine is converting all fuel or all the resources in fuel to power. It just means that it is able to use 95% of the determined AFR value as fuel for using or creating power. I hope I explained that correctly. If I did not, please, uh, yeah, please keep in mind that I'm not that good at explaining, but I just looked up uh, Wikipedia. It is the amount or the volume of air per stroke that is pulled into the cylinder or that is filling up the cylinder. So in theory, in an NA application, this can not be above 100%, although there may be a few factors at play. Um, but this will determine your fuel load. Obviously, if the cylinder has been filled with the maximum of air, it's obviously going to need the maximum of fuel. And this is also looking at, or the ECU is also looking at the AFR table and looking at what mixture of air and fuel it is going to need. For example, if it is going stoichiometric so uh, lambda 1 or 14.7 then it is going to calculate exactly the amount of fuel based on the size of your injectors and on the efficiency that you put in this table of how much fuel it needs to inject into the cylinder so at stoichiometric if your 
uh, engine would be 100% efficient due the the VE table. Like it's uh, set in the VE table, it would inject compared to 14.7, it would inject one part of fuel for every 14.7 parts of air. So um, I hope you understand what I mean. If you don't, uh, leave it in the comments below. Maybe I can explain it in the next video or a different video um, because it's kind of difficult to understand. And that efficiency depends obviously on the RPM. And obviously, because on a naturally aspirated engine, you will not be able to go above 100 kPa or 100% of volumetric efficiency although there are some instances for example with a ram air effect or with a purposefully designed um, intake manifold that kind of overfills cylinder somehow um, by for example using a specific length on, of intake runners although that kind of gets too far into the engine topic now but in theory you could achieve above 100 percent efficiency too but in normal cases should be at a max from somewhere between 85 and uh, 95 percent when going uh, for a boosted application you are obviously overfilling the engine with air so because there is a pressure inside the manifold and therefore in theory the volumetric efficiency would be above 100 percent and this is where these options below come into play because uh, multiply VE calculate by map ratio. This is a value by map ratio. This is especially important for turbo applications because then uh, the values above 100 kPa will not be above or much or a lot above 100% VE and uh, this makes tuning a lot easier and predictable than with for example this disabled because then we will have values like 200 sometimes or even more um, so I would suggest leaving that at barrel or um, a uh, barometric map sensor. I hope I got this uh, through to you as I said I'm not that good at explaining stuff like this but if you didn't understand leave it in the comments below and I will try to explain it again. Um, multiply by ratio of AFR to target AFRs I would suggest this to leave it off. This does not make much sense because it is uh, incorporating your target AFR into the um, map so you are getting weird results here so that does not make much sense as I said but the lower one the multiply by ratio of stoic AFR target that's something you can activate because that is going to result in the table being more accurate to the actual uh, volumetic efficiency and uh, that makes tu tuning a bit easier and if your VE table is perfected and it is perfectly the engine is perfectly running to that VE table and to that target AFR table, then you can tune your engine just by changing the AFR table. But uh, you'll first have to tune the engine correctly with the VE table. But I would suggest leaving this on or putting this on, yes, because uh, it can make tuning life a bit easier. The base map you get in this issue is uh, kind of weird and not really usable as um, yeah, that's, it's just all over the place. If we uh, go for the 3D view, uh, you can see it is all sorts of hilly. It's not as bad as it could be, but it's still not great. This is why we're just going to look at what we need or rather what we are going to put in there. As I said, it's just going to be a rough estimate. It's not going to be precise. It's just for starting up the engine and uh, going to look at uh, getting a ballpark uh, fuel table so that we can run the engine and go from there just as we did with the spark map we need to again put in different x y values because it is again different here we have again a 60 by 16 table and this is why we are just going to use only 300 all right and then let's see how we're looking and yeah that uh, <laughs> completely destroyed the table but that doesn't matter for us um, if you look at the 3d map again that's going to look totally weird but uh, not an issue so okay what we are going to do is we want to 
at least get the idle somewhat right. Normally, this should be the engine at idle or most of the of engines at idle at about, are at about 60% efficiency. This can vary. I've seen some at 80%, but 60 is a good guess for the baseline. And you can say, could say that most engines are at 100 kPa at max RPM are about 105. Yes, this is sometimes or often a bit higher than usually. And also I would put in higher numbers rather than lower numbers because running richer, uh, richer won't do more, will do less damage um, than running too lean. So just put in higher numbers here. I'll just put in 100 here and maybe 90 here. Uh, let's say, let's say 80. And then just smooth that out. And we have probably, this is going to be roughly 75 maybe. And then smooth that out as well. Whoop. Whoop. All right, and as I said, Yes, although this option is activated, the map values or the VE values above 100 kp are still going to be a bit higher. I'm and usually I'm going to um, experience or I'm experienced around 115 to 125 um, percent VE. So I'm going to just uh, put in 120 around here because we're not running that high boost and 115 around here and most of the engines have a torque peak depending on the engine you are running at uh, of around because or a power peak of around 6000 rpm so i'm gonna use 120 here so we have a bit of a peak in there that could also be possible on an na application that you need to put in more fuel around here um, but you will also see that while tuning this is again as I said just a base map and to get the car running and 105 here heavily goes down with lower rpm obviously we are not going to reach this anyway because no turbo is going to make one bar of boost at 1500 rpm just smooth that out and then go down. Again, we can smooth that out here on the idle side, although we will probably be able to tweak here heavily or will be tweaking heavily here um, as there is not much, as we will be using that table in those areas heavily so right here when driving normally through cities on the highway and stuff so we'll have to tune heavily here and we are as always going to use a bit more here 135 maybe just use five more 130 oh wait let's do 125 here and 115 and then let's do 10 more here or rather 15 more maybe so that we are on the safe side if we go over 1.2 bar so as i said this is going to be a safety just be as rich as possible and cool down everything in the engine when the boost is getting too high for some reason maybe a wastegate line pops off or whatever as in the others we are going to use this as a safety measure so that our engine does not explode if for example we are running too high boost for some reason you never know why this would happen or could happen maybe the wastegate line popped off or maybe something else happened so that the car is over boosting and your overboost protection isn't kicking in yet you want the engine running much much richer than it is now and uh, therefore we are trying to go richer here you will probably see that you have to put more fuel in around here in this area because as i said the engine is going to produce 
the most amount of power around here so from 5500 to 6500 probably and then fall off at the top again but this is as i said going to give you a ballpark fueling and uh, this should get you off started and this is what the map looks now it's much smoother than before and uh, yeah as i said you'll have to tune it later obviously because this map is probably the most important for fuel tuning i'm just gonna save this now and that's done for the fuel map there would be another thing that would be the secondary fuel map or a spark map there's also a possibility if you're using for example a flex fuel sensor but we are not going to go into that now but maybe at a later date that's it for this video i hope you like it if you enjoyed uh, leave a like and uh, if you have any questions again maybe about the ve again uh, just leave those down in the comments below